spin. We got Victor Oladipo. I'm a pacer, man. I'm a pacer dog. I'm a pacer. I can't control the rumors, man. All the ones on the internet, I don't even know where they're coming from. I'm just in the background working out, working on my knee, trying to get right for next year. That's straight cap. And we heard, uh, <laughs> we saw earlier in the week, Victor Oladipo on an Instagram live. Someone asked him, uh, do you, would you leave, would you leave Indiana to win a best, like to win a championship? And he said, Hey man, at the end of the day, I want to tell my kids about how much of a winner I was. And to do that, I need hardware, a lot of hardware. I'm paraphrasing, but it was something like that. Um, so he kind of <laughs> ousted himself. Now he's taking it back. But do we see VO coming back? A lot of I saw some report out there saying that he might be Isaiah Thomas 2.0. And I'm talking about the Celtics, Isaiah Thomas. I saw that. It was a fluke. Yeah, I'd be scared. Year. I'd be scared of Oladipo. Like getting Oladipo. I would want him. I wouldn't want to but, sign Oladipo. But yeah, I'd be scared. I'd rather sign somebody else. Uh, to trade money. for him, I think I'd be scared. To sign him, I don't think I don't think his market's there anymore. I don't think he's gonna be a sign for like 30 mil. Like I think a one year contract. I think someone might throw him like a 15 to 20 mil contract for how many years though i don't know oh depot he's still a good player he just got hurt i feel like once we, he gets his rhythm back yeah if he gets back to where he was yeah he, oh, of course he's right he's one of the best two-way players in that would be the yeah, reward yeah yeah no he was a monster that that season uh yeah. two years ago no he was really good but i mean but what i would be scared of is that he never returns to that form like we saw it with isaiah thomas like, exactly. if he returns to that form of course get him in a heartbeat but yeah i saw y'all that's seen a big him? if I think no. Nah, I think El Depo could. I think he could return to his like his normal self. Me personally, because a lot know. of what he did was athletic based. Like he was a really athletic player. So but I'm pretty sure he, he loses that. I'm pretty sure he was super efficient. Was the thing. So he could have just been really hot for a long time. Yeah. Uh, and the bubble, his play wasn't all that. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't all star nah, level. He wasn't the same. Yeah, no. he wasn't the same. Yeah. He, like I said earlier, he's getting his rhythm back. Um, he just came back. Um, the season. I don't know. There's a lot of rumors yeah. when the bubble was going on before the Pacers got eliminated that he didn't want to be there and that it's not going to work out. And that he might move on like, yeah. in free agency. Yeah, I remember that. Oh. I mean, like I said, like he said, he's he's a Pacer, he's a Pacer, he's a Pacer. So I guess he, he's just trying to keep his head down. But, I mean, there's a lot of smoke for there to be no fire. You feel me? I see him yeah. leaving and the Pacers signing uh, Drew Holiday. Holiday? I could see that. But they already have Malcolm. Ah, oh, whatever. Two combo guards. Isn't that a rumor that's been spread? I mean, I feel like Drew Holiday. I think I just seen that. I feel like Drew Holiday is rumored to go everywhere. Yeah. Drew, I heard about him in Dallas. He's on the market, yo. Oh, that. but you know why? Probably that rumor because his the other brothers, two brothers yeah. are on the Pacers. They have oh, two yeah. of them, Aaron and right. Justin Holiday. And they're all, all three of them are pretty good. Yeah, well, I mean, Drew's a different level. Yeah, of course. Not. He's not pretty good. He's a. He's really good. Yeah, he's really awesome. Good.